Hey there YouTube, we're out here with the Chevy Malibu again. Uh, if you haven't caught my other videos, I've done a headlight replacement and a tail light replacement on this vehicle, but we're going to be uh, tackling the front brakes today. So uh, my friend, she's been having a few issues with uh, noise coming from the front and she wanted me to take a look at it. So I went ahead and uh, put it in drive and uh, this is the noise that I was starting to hear. So that was the noise inside the cabin. Here's the noise from outside. It almost sounded like a metal on metal screeching. Or... So the first thing we're going to do is take off the hub cap. Then we're going to take our breaker bar and break loose all five of the nuts. We'll go ahead and do it on the other side real fast. And then we'll go ahead and jack up the vehicle. Always make sure to use jack stands and put them under the car securely on the mounting points. And then let's go ahead and take the lug nuts off the rest of the way. And then we'll remove the tire. Now using our 14 millimeter and our ratchet, we're gonna go ahead and break loose the two caliper bolts. Once you have them uh, broke loose, you can usually thread them out by hand. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pry bar. I have a couple different pry bars here, a uh, very long one and then like a medium sized one. So what we're going to do is go ahead and put our pry bar in behind the caliper and we're just going to pry it away slowly and uh, before you pry it off the rest of the way you want to put your hand on it so you can actually catch it so that way it won't pull the brake line. You don't want to stretch that rubber brake line. Then using that same pry bar I'm just going to take the brake pads away from the actual cali caliper and brake pad holder. This is the uh, front brake pad and it's not looking too bad. It's very worn down way past uh, replacement. Uh, probably not making the noise, and then we're going to go ahead and pray the back one away. And this is the culprit. This is what's causing all the noise. You can tell there, there's no brake pad left. That is metal on metal. And uh, yeah, that is what's causing the screeching and the loud brake noise for her. So one thing I like to do is use a zip tie and I like to just thread it through on the caliper holes and I like to hang it. Now looking on the back here, there's the two caliper bracket holder uh, bolts. We're just gonna wanna take those loose. And now that that's out of the way, we can go ahead and remove the brake rotor and inspect the damage that it was done and it is looking pretty bad. It's grooved heavily. So we'll be replacing those, no worries. So uh, using a pair of vice grips, I use these wide mouth ones. That's how I compress the caliper piston back in. Very easy to do and uh, highly recommend that method. Now we'll flip over to the driver's side and repeat the same process at a very fast speed. Now let's go over all the parts that we'll need to uh, complete this job. So first we have the uh, brake pads. They come in a set of two, so for both sides. Also both rotors. And we have the high temp brake grease. And also uh, we have the brake parts cleaner for cleaning the rotors. Be sure to look down in the description. I will add links to similar parts that you can uh, buy to complete your brake job for your Malibu. So the first thing you want to do with that rotor is uh, take out the box and we're going to spray it down with this uh, brake parts cleaner. And we're going to take a clean rag and we're going to go ahead and clean the whole entire front and back of the rotor 
And what that's going to do is it's going to get off all the packaging oil. Now that packaging oil is what uh, helps it prevent from rusting when in transit, but it's no good for us and we'll need to clean it off first. Now with that freshly cleaned rotor, we're going to go ahead and put it onto the hub. Then we can take our caliper bracket. I went ahead and cleaned up the shims. Now some brake pads come with new shim hardware, ours did not, so I went ahead and cleaned ours up. And I'm going to go ahead and put in those two bolts that hold on the caliper bracket and tighten those down. One more comparison real quick of the new brake pad compared to the old brake pads. Look how thick and beefy the new brake pads are compared to the old ones. So uh, now we're going to take that uh, high temp brake grease and we're going to put it onto the shim, being careful to not get it onto the rotor at all. Again, grease and oil is what ruins your rotors if you uh, get some on it. Also, you're going to want to pull out these caliper slides. They're in these little rubber boots uh, that's attached to the caliper holder. This one's a little uh, nasty, so I went ahead and cleaned it up on the wire wheel. It's looking a lot better here and we're just going to put a little bit of that brake grease on there and we'll uh, be, be pretty liberal on it and then we'll slide it back into the hole and then repeat that process for the bottom brake caliper slide. Now with the brake pads, we're going to go ahead and slide them into the shims that are on the brake caliper holder. And it just pushes in. Uh, you'll feel it kind of go into this uh, spot and then we'll do the front one as well. Front one's a little bit easier. You can see it unlike the rear one. Once they're both on there, you can then cut that zip tie from the caliper and then slide that down and put it into place. You'll want to uh, make sure the caliper bolt holes line up with the caliper slides and then uh, thread in those two bolts. Tighten it down with your 14 millimeter. I use it just to the amount of torque that I think that it should be done to and then spin that rotor around and give it one last cleaning. Go ahead and mount the wheel, attach your five lug nuts, torque them down with whatever you have, and then we'll go ahead and fast forward through the driver's side. One thing to note on the driver's side, these slides were really tough to get out I'm going to go ahead and jack up the vehicle one last time. Take the two jack stands out, retorque all your lug nuts, put the hubcaps on, and then hop in the car. You might notice that the brakes are a little soft. Just go ahead and pump them up a couple times. Uh, that will get the fluid and the piston to go out in the brake pad, and then drive the car out the driveway. From here, we'll go into the cockpit and uh, give the brakes a little bit of a test. Make sure they're stopping the way that we think they should. One thing to note is no longer do we have that metal on metal sound, that very metallic sound when we're hitting the brakes. So as we finish up this test, I just want to remind you to throw a like on the video if this helped you out. And also throw a subscribe on my channel if you want to see more videos. Uh, also check out my other content. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.